doing these good actions which you're doing as a, as a human being, you're doing these actions but you're not being rewarded for these actions. They're not being written down for you as, as, as good actions. Why? Because you haven't formally entered the fold of Islam. Once you enter the fold of Islam, all of your previous sins are wiped. Newborn baby. Your good actions are carried forward with you. And every good that you do is on your weight, is on your, is on your scale of good deeds on the Day of Judgment. And those scales are what dictate where you, and, and through the mercy of Allah, uh, will enable you to enter into paradise. But the key statement that is the, the key to, to paradise is professing that no one is worthy of worship except Allah and the Prophet Muhammad is his last and final messenger. Now I would, a person like you, yeah, in all honesty, especially if you, if, like you sound sincere and what's in your heart is what you're saying from your tongue, then you need to manifest this on your limbs through your actions, through your speech. And that comes first by saying that shahada, which is you're probably already aware of. Saying, saying what you already said. You said, I believe in Allah and that the Prophet Muhammad is his slave and messenger. And once you enter that fold of Islam, not only will it transform your life as a human being, because you're connected with your Creator directly. That, when you put your head down on the ground and you worship and you speak to Allah directly, and that, that peace and tranquility that, you're, that every human being is looking for through different ways, you gain that. Whether even if you have nothing, you have no material sort of possessions, but you have that inner peace that, and that goes with you wherever you are. So that only comes through entering the fold of Islam and then doing the actions which, which a Muslim does, praise, etc, etc, these things. You don't necessarily have to know all of those things to become a Muslim. That comes off gradually over time. But I would, I would offer this to you today to become Muslim. Yeah, it's, it's, like I said, I feel that's the next step. And I just I like... Mean, you know, it's not a big ceremony. It's, it doesn't have to be in, in the mosque and this and that. We can do it right here, right now. Good. I just feel right now in my whole past that if I was to, I wouldn't be 100% genuine. Because I, I even, uh, the things I still do and continue to do now because of the way I live and everything that's comfortable to me, these things is just, I don't want to commit to being a Muslim and then the next day I went out to do whatever I went back to doing. And Look, that's what I'm you might not live till the next day. Yeah, you might not live till the next day. Sins are sins, but the greatest sin is associating partners with Allah and not recognizing him as, as, as the one and only creator. And you already believe this, but you haven't entered that, that fold of Islam. Once you enter the fold of Islam, Allah forgives sins. Allah is the most merciful. Allah, there's, a, there's narrations from the Prophet, peace be upon him, that if you come to Allah with an earth full of sins, Allah will bring an earth full of mercy. If your sins are as high as the sky, Allah will forgive you. If you turn to him with sincerity and you repent. So sins are forgiven. But the only one sin which a person, if they die with, is not forgiven if they associate partners with Allah. If you say Allah has a son, if you say something else deserves to be worshipped except Allah, this is unforgivable. No matter how good you are as a person in this life, and that sin is the unforgivable sin if a person dies with that. And you already say you believe in Allah. You believe in the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. These actions, Allah will make easy for you to leave. We, there's people who are Muslims and they're doing these things. There's people who are Muslims and they're doing these things. But what is the key to paradise? Ashhadu la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu Muhammad Rasulullah. Saying that there is no one worthy of worship except Allah. And that the Prophet, peace be upon him, is a slave and messenger. It's the heaviest thing on the scale. Okay. So that, that will come with time, no doubt. And, I, and I, the fact that you actually said that shows your sincerity. Yes, definitely. I was just about to say that. Yeah, the fact that, that you, shows you're so, so genuine. Yeah, because some people, sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, I was going to how many people, they, they rush to test that. I mean, it's, it's fine. Like those, you have those yeah. doubts. You know, yeah. You're, you're, you're questioning your own intention, which, which, which is the genu genuine sincerity. Yeah. Sincerity. And that's the key behind everything that we do is that sincerity. But it will be a shame. It would be a shame if a person didn't uh, had that and they procrastinated that decision and doubts came into their mind or something else happened, which is obviously, you know, with Shaitan, Iblis, uh, the devil, that he's working full, like, full time on a person like you, for example. And all of us, all of us, no doubt. But a person who's, who's on that step of, uh, of entry, leaving the hellfire and entering into paradise, that this is the worst thing. His whole purpose of being here on this earth from Adam, from Adam alayhi salam until now, is to take his children one by one with him into the hellfire. And it, one of them to be saved, that's when he's, he's fully, you know, working on that person. What about this? What if this happens? What, but you're not ready, but etc, etc. All of these things. These are doubts which are irrelevant. Put them to one side. 
your heart, you believe Allah exists. You believe that Allah is the one who created us in this life. And that the Prophet, peace be upon him, is his slave and messenger. We don't worship the Prophet Muhammad ever. We only worship Allah. The Prophet Muhammad is an example for us. Like the messengers came before him, an example for their people. He lived this life, told us how to worship Allah, how to live this life. And he's the best of creation. And you believe these things. And I, I would really encourage you again, and offer it to you to, to take your shahada. And we could do this now. Like Don't be afraid. Be strong. Yeah, be steadfast. The motion of me. I feel like I should give the Quran a deeper look, and, and not only just connect myself to Allah, but also connect myself to the Quran and the words of the Quran, as it is His true word. And I mean, that, the like, fact that you believe it's the words of Allah, you don't have to necessarily. I mean, the Quran you can study for years. Scholars are still teaching the Quran, we're still looking into the benefits of the Quran, the, you know, the scientific facts that are coming out from the Quran that people know about. There's many other, many other, it's, it's a deep, it's a deep text, it's from Allah. But all of these actions, like I said, even that journey of, the, of, of reading the Quran is our good deeds, you're being rewarded for that. But you're working without getting paid. And it's just a statement on your tongue, you enter into Islam. And you live your life as a Muslim and you have that peace and, peace and tranquility and you continue your search, you continue your striving to, to better yourself and all of these things like we all do. Okay, even as, as born Muslims or, you know, converts to Islam or etc. But that first step is the key step, is to enter into the fold. And it's not a, like I said, it's not, you've already said it. You'd be professing what you already believe in your heart. You've already said it. You already believe you've already said it. It's just, it's just saying it in, uh, saying it in uh, Arabic and English so you know what you're saying. And you're Muslim. And we could do that right now. Yeah. Be strong. Yeah. Would you like to do it? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. okay. So I'll would you like to do it in Arabic first or English first? Um, Arabic. Arabic, yeah. You, so I'll I'll say I'll say it uh, slowly, piece by piece, and you repeat after me. Oh yeah. Okay? okay. You say Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Anna, Anna. La, la ilaha, ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasul Allah and this means I bear witness and you say that there is no one worthy of worship except Allah and I bear witness that Muhammad is his slave and messenger Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar you are a Muslim. You are a Muslim. Okay. This is your gift. This you. Now this is your identity. You are a Muslim.